Okay. This is going to be a demonstration of how to use a TI-84 Plus uh, Silver Edition calculator. If you have this one, great. If not, uh, all of the other ones should be the same. Hopefully, if not, they should be similar. And I'm demonstrating how to do scientific notation calculations using a TI calculator, graphing calculator. I've got my problem right here. It says 3.89 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of CH4 methane. And I'm converting them into moles of methane. So I've got two uh, numbers here that I'm going to be using for scientific notation. Uh, I'll put the calculator right there so you can see it. 3.89. And then the trick is uh, to help you get through um, doing the math in the easiest way possible is we don't type times 10 to the, you type EE. And EE is the blue right on, on top of the um, uh, comma key. Yeah, there you go. And so in order to get the blues, you have to hit the second function. So I'm going to hit uh, second. And then it does this little up like shift arrow. And then I'm going to hit the EE button and an E appears. That E means times 10 to the, and next I have to put in 20 second. This number is your calculator saying 3.89 times 10 to the 20 second. Then I'm gonna hit the divide by sign and do divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. That's going to be 6.022, second function EE, 23rd. And what the EE e button does when it puts that E in there is it keeps, it recognizes this thing as one number. So you don't have to worry about order of operations. You don't have to worry about parentheses. You don't have to worry about adding an extra power of 10 when you do times 10 to the. All those issues go away. All right, so then I hit enter, and I get my answer, 6.45, well, let's go 6.46, and you got to look at the end here, because it says times 10 to the minus 2. 6.46 times 10 to the minus 2 moles CH4. And... Um, that's how you do this first one. Now let's tackle a problem where you uh, use negative exponents. And let's do this. Let's do 3.45 times 10 to the minus uh, 2 liters. And then it's going to be multiplied times 0 0.100 moles of HCl for one liter, so another typical calculation that we do. Oh, and I, sh uh, yes. Um, then I will also do, let's see, so clear. So I'm gonna do 3.45, 3.45, and then I'm gonna hit second function, EE, that gives me my E, and then down here I'm gonna hit the minus sign for, uh, to adding a minus or a plus sign um, and then I'm not going to hit the subtract sign, though. So I'm going to hit minus, and then we hit 2. And this is 3.45 times 10 to the minus 2. And in this problem, I've got to multiply it times 0.1, so times 0.1. And I, you couldn't see me enter it in, but there it is. And then we hit enter, and I get 3.45 times 10 to the minus 3 as my answer. And that would be my liters cancel out moles of HCl. And now let's take a minute. So I have my calculator set to display all the answers in scientific notation. If you wanted it to display in normal numbers, you would hit the mode button and then you can see that uh, it's already highlighted on, the psi is already uh, highlighted, but it's blinking there. So if I hit enter, 
now it's on normal mode and now when I query back it just does the math and it displays the answer in regular numbers normal numbers as it call and some calculators call it floating numbers where the des position of the decimal point floats and if you want to put it back into scientific notation you hit the mode button hit the right arrow to get it to move over hit enter now it's in scientific notation there's lots of other things you can do with that but that's the only thing i think we'll need for what we're doing then hit clear well i'm going to put it back in normal mode so now it's normal mode i'm going to hit clear and i'm going to stay in normal mode for a while <laughs> which is uh normally or uh, oftentimes I would be in scientific mode myself.